So on the eve of the Players' Championship, we have finally heard from Jay Monahan. And I'll be honest, I think it is about time we had an update with what was going on between the PGA Tour, SSG now, and the Saudi Public Investment Fund, PIF. Now, Jay Monahan gives an interview and gives an update on what the situation is. He also is asked some very testing questions. Um, would he have done anything different in his tenure up to this point? Whether he faced the thought of having to resign? And what does he think of Rory's version of golf going forward? And we're going to discuss all this in today's video. Plus, before we go through the key points from what he said in his interview, I thought I'd take to Twitter, you know, and, and sort of see what the overall impression was of the interview because you could actually get it live on Twitter. I, I watched it uh, in between lessons today. And Kyle Porter, one of the reporters from CBS, said this. For someone who takes questions one and a half times a year, Jay Monaghan's patience with the media regarding one of the most seismic shifts in the history of the sport seems pretty short. Now, did you get that vibe too if you saw the interview today? From what I was seeing on Twitter, a lot more people were agreeing with this also. So let's go into what the commissioner said. Now, he said this, our negotiations are accelerating. We still have several key issues to work out, but we have shared vision to quiet the noise and unlock golf's worldwide potential. It's going to take time. Now, he really does insist that he remains in serious negotiations with the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, despite striking the deal with the 3 billion sports consortium, SSG, earlier in January. Now, the key thing that I ask you right here, it's going to take time. I keep saying this, I don't see how we have something in concrete by April. It's a month away. The Masters, which is crazy to think, is next month. I'm very, very excited. But I don't see how a deal is going to be struck between now and then. Now, I know I'm not on the inside. I know I don't know that. But this is just what I'm seeing. So he also added this. I do believe that negotiating a deal with PIF is the best outcome. Obviously, it has to be the right deal for both sides. And I think what they're going to find hard here from the PGA Tour's point of view is will everybody on the Players Advisory Council agree? Will everybody who is a decision maker agree? Because I do feel there is this, no, they went, we'll leave that. We've got our investment now. Do we need that money? We've heard the likes of Tiger Woods say something very similar. We've definitely heard the likes of Jordan Spieth say it and Rory not quite agree with it. So where do you feel this sits? I actually honestly feel right now there is more friction than there was previously because of everything that has been said up to this point. So, Let's go through some of these few key questions. But all we have to report, really, is that in the deal between the PIF and the PGA Tour is still going ahead. But you want to know what the juicy bits are, right? So loads of reporters were asking him loads of questions. And as we found out, he was pretty short with the media. So one of the questions was, on what, if anything, you have done differently over the last three, three, three years, would there be? He said this, when you look back to last summer... I could have handled that better and I've taken full responsibility and accountability for that. So referring to sort of that June when we heard of the framework agreement. That's on me, but we've moved on and we've made the so much progress since that point in time. And I've learned from it. I've been humbled by it and I think I've gotten a stronger leader. Interesting. I don't know um, if that is the case on the fact of, do all the players believe that? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Maybe you can say what you think on that point. Look, last time I did a video on Jay Monaghan, this consensus was really that he was surprising that he was still in the job. Okay, so one of the next questions that he was asked, on whether or not he discussed a return to the PJ Tour for Anthony Kim. He said this, I did not have any direct conversations with Anthony Kim. Members of our team did, and they were very clear and laid out what it would take for him to earn his way back to the PGA Tour. I'm glad that Anthony Kim is healthy and well and wishing well. Ever the politi po politician answer there, don't you think? 
Um, okay, on to the next question now. On whether he not he faced direct calls to resign by PGA Tour player directors. Now, this is a really juicy point. And I always say this on these breaking news stories, let me know what you think. It's interesting to sort of see how the media are asking very pointed questions towards Jay Monaghan on the eve of getting an update and potentially around the corner, a deal struck with the Saudi Public Investment Fund. It's interesting to hear these questions be asked. So he said this, There's been a lot of good spirited debate amongst our board. I don't think that would be a surprise to anybody, you know, given the events of the last summer. But we are, uni we are a unified front. I can't generalize as it relates to players. But clearly, given the responsibility I've been given by both boards, I have the support of our board. And I, I, and I am the right person to lead us forward. I know that. I believe in my heart and I'm determined to do exactly that. Again, I, I go back to last summer. I go back to last summer before we announced this potential agreement. This was completely the opposite. It was very fronted, completely opposite way round. Now, this is interesting. We all heard about Rory's vision of golf, Super League, Champions League style. And it's interesting to see if this is the concept which the PJ Tour are thinking about. I thought, sort of believed that Rory was maybe dropping breadcrumbs on this. Rory's idea of the tour. Jay Monaghan said this. The concept, along with a number of other concepts, have been discussed at the policy board including Rory's time on the policy board. Part of the dynamic of being commissioner of the PJ Tour is balancing the perspectives of not only our entire membership, but the perspectives of our board. And it's indisputable that, it, th that this is a global sport. And I think it was quite interesting here. I mean, it keeps referring to board and board. So now the PJ Tour has, the PJ Tour as it was, sort of the charity area to its arm. We now have PGA Tour Enterprises, which is where all the commercial value is, which is why the likes of SSG have invested in the PGA Tour and how they're going to drive prize funds and how they say they're going to make it better for us as fans to view and watch the PGA Tour. I'll be interested, I would be interested to know how that's going to happen and what is going to happen to get that to happen, like more TV, better app. I'd like to see the vision on that. And finally... On what prospect of creating past champions ex championship exemption to allow Tiger Woods to continue and compete at the players? He said this, I think you all know Tiger well enough to know that he wants to earn his way in every competition. That's his, that, that's his makeup. He would be the hardest one to convince. So some very pointed, very poignant questions towards Jay Monaghan. But all we have to update is that really there's no update. Apart from the fact that the negotiations are taking place, Jay Monaghan did take a trip with the board over to Saudi Arabia to try and get this more nailed down. But whether it is or not, we don't really know. But for sure, when, as soon as I have more information on this, I will keep you updated because there is going to be a lot of movement in the next coming weeks.